My name is Chad Ginther. Um, I am an international police officer with Dine Corp. Um, I work basically on the corrections of the prison side. We go into these countries who have failed justice systems or no justice system at all. We go in, we uh, take an assessment of what they have in place. We decide on a plan of action as too far as what they need to try to bring them up to an international standard. And then we implement that plan either by training, um, providing facilities, logistics, um, and just try to get them on something that conforms to an international standard of policing and corrections. The, the, the places that we go have already seen the worst of the worst, so it can go nowhere but up. And anything you can do to help you know, stimulate the people and help change their mindset to help them better themselves is going to naturally improve that environment. 2007 and 2008, I was assigned to the United Nations Mission in Sudan. We took up a collection and got with a lot of the non-governmental organizations and raised money to build a housing a housing dorm within the prison in Ye County for the females, for the, the women offenders. They had nothing. They were living in a tent that was uh, donated by the Canadian government, and it had been destroyed you know, many months before we even got there. So we raised enough money to, and it wasn't that much. It was, it was a very you know, small sum. But you know, they, they ended up with their own housing you know, instead of living out in the rain and the elements within the prison system. It's because the, the facilities there are so bad, we have to do something. So, you know, to step into any kind of environment and, and help change the system for the, for the better, you're helping. Um, and, and that's all that we do is we go there and help. Everybody that was actually in Sudan with me at the time was working with DynCorp always had their pet projects. Um, some people were taking care of the leper kind of, uh, colony in Juba, Sudan. Um, some people took it upon themselves to just go buy biscuits and give it out to the starving kids that were running around. Um, and so we always donated gear and, and just whatever we brought back from our vacations and stuff to the orphanages, you know, baseball, softball, just something for those people to, um, to do. And, you just, and when you see going to an orphanage and you give them 10 soccer balls, you can't just describe what it's like.